welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral by using beta function approach the question is 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of cosine of x dx okay first we know the definition of beta function we can write beta of m n is equal to 2 times integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine to the 2m minus 1 of x times cosine to the 2n minus 1 of x dx okay also we know the derivative of beta function uh, we can write uh, derivative of beta function with respect to n beta of m n we know this is equal to beta of m n times di gamma of n minus di gamma of m plus n okay now if we differentiate this beta function so we can write the derivative of beta function with respect to n beta of m n is equal to uh, here 2 so 2 times so 4 integral form 0 to pi over 2 sine to the 2 m minus 1 of x times cosine to the 2 n minus 1 of x times natural log of cosine of x dx okay if we take this formula this equation number one and here equation number two now we know equation number one is equal to equation number two so we can write here um, 0 to pi over 2 sine to the 2m minus 1 of x times cosine to the 2n minus 1 of x natural log of cosine of x dx is equal to uh, the side beta of mn times di gamma of n minus di gamma of m plus n okay now to get our integral 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of cos x we can plug in m is equal n is equal to one half okay now we can write here this is equal to 0 to pi over 2 now sine to the m is equal to one half so one over two get cancelled one, one minus one zero so sine zero power we know one here also zero power so one we will have natural log of cosine of x dx and right hand side we can write beta of one half comma one half di gamma of n is equal to one half minus di gamma of uh, one half plus one half di gamma of one okay then we know this property uh, of beta function we can write beta of mn is equal to gamma of n uh, sorry here gamma of m over gamma of m plus n okay now we can write our integral 0 to pi over 2 natural log of yeah, cosine of x dx is equal to now beta of 1 half 1 half so now we can use this formula so we can write gamma of one half times gamma of one half over gamma of one half plus 
one half so gamma of one times now di gamma of one half okay we know the value of di gamma of one half di gamma of one half is equal to minus two times natural log of two minus gamma gamma is Euler's mass coronary constant okay then uh, here we have also di gamma of one we know di gamma of one is equal to minus times gamma okay now we can write this is uh, equal to now di gamma of one half minus two natural log of two minus gamma here minus gamma of one so plus gamma okay then here we know gamma of one half the value of gamma of one half gamma of one half is equal to square root of pi and also gamma of one is equal to one okay then we can write here the square root of pi times the square root of pi so square root of pi square over one times here now this gamma get cancelled minus two natural log of two okay here now here is the root of pi square so pi so minus two times pi natural log of two now oh sorry here there is a mistake here four so here also four here also four sorry and here also four now uh, we can isolate the 0 to pi over 2 natural log of cosine of x dx is equal to minus 2 times pi times natural log of 2 over 4 so minus pi over 2 natural log of 2 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching